Hi everybody, Debbie from Texas. I wanted to come on here and just go ahead and get this whole email out without any interruptions in the name of Jesus. I pray that each and every single one of you receive this in prayer and bring it to the Lord that your ears would be open to hear what the Spirit has to say to you through this in the reading and that this whole thing would be anointed in Jesus' name as we go forth in today. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jesus is coming. Okay, I'll put the original link um, in the description box. Go back and refer to the first video if you haven't seen it of the Little Boy's Vision. I think a lot of us just couldn't let this go and we know that there's missing pieces and Trinity has offered to uh, send this to us to a couple of us to help figure out these pieces <laughs> and yeah so I'm not going to share my pieces but I'll let you get your own pieces and then we can come together and share and I know Trinity will probably be adding more as we get more information if there's time because Jesus is coming all right so first of all, he wants you to know that, you know, he did not need me to add anything or take anything away. Nothing was done in exact order as what was said that night. He wanted the little boy to go ahead and do this on his very own. Um, there's parts that he was missing because of the fact that he was stunned and overwhelmed at first that this was all going on and trying to make sense of this whole thing and thinking of course of scriptures and and everything else and and that it only could have been from jesus at that point so there were things that he did miss and there were things that were not in order uh, on the video on the original video it was so much at once okay so let's start so we said when his son started having this vision it was at prayer time at night and he stared up for about 15 seconds and he turned and he would look at me and he would start talking. And for about five minutes, he said he was, he start, for about five minutes, he would just start talking. And he was trying to just understand what he was literally hearing. But he started with saying, Dad, do you know that bench that you and Jesus will sit on? There's another place where everybody will sit and listen to Jesus he said, Dad, if I am on one side of the bench, I can talk to you and see others who are on the other side far, far away and talk to them. And then there was something about words in heaven. But I don't remember because I was staring to what was going on here. And then he looked up again and said, Dad, there is a table that comes down from heaven and we will eat. It's full of food, Dad. Did you know? If you take one thing, there will be a new one. And all my favorites are there. Not just mine, Dad, but yours and everybody else's favorite. Dad, this will be three times a year in heaven we will have this party. It will be our birthday party. We will have the same birthday. Everyone will have the same birthday. talked about how strawberries and could taste like bananas and and things at the same time and how they'll just keep being replaced and we'll never run out of food so then he turned and and, and said when we are taken up Jesus would rather that we didn't look but we can't after the second time people are taken up, Jesus said he really don't want us to look, but if we want to, it's okay. But when the last people come up, Jesus said we are not allowed to look anymore. It will be bad, Dad. Then he looked up and said, Dad, after a year, Jesus will come and say, Here, children, and everybody gathers by Jesus, and he opens a door, and we all go in. It's a garden, and there is a tree. It's a very ugly tree with rotten fruit. It's dark and not like others. Then Jesus asked Adam, Do you remember this tree? Adam didn't. But then Jesus allowed him to remember, and Adam looked sad. 
Then Jesus takes us back out the door and closes it. The next day, there is no, there is days in heaven, but no nights. Did you know that, Dad? But the next day, Jesus opens the door again, and we are all in the garden. Only the tree isn't ugly. It's beautiful. Jesus said, this is for my children to eat from. There is words in the tree, Dad, and a star or a light above it. And then he looks up and he tells me the part in the video about the words fire that comes out of Jesus's mouth. The next day, while the little boy was playing, came the part of the vision where the mountain crumbled. The part that told, Jesus told him was that Jesus asked him, do you know what I am showing you? And do you know what it means? My son smiled. And he said, do you know why I smiled, Dad? And I said, no. And he said, because Jesus smiled at me, Dad. But then he got, a very, he got very serious, Dad. He wasn't angry, but it was very powerful. He said, it's enough. I am coming for my children now. Then we did the video. Later that night, my son was getting explosions, he describes them. They came from his heart and went out through his body like chills. My son said they felt good but very intense. It was so powerful that every time the chills came, his whole body shook. He said he even told God that it was too much for him. And a thin light was in the room that moved in wave movements. movements but you could only notice it at times, but it was so peaceful and calm all around us. He started to sleep, and all I felt like doing was praying over him and praising God, and I did this until I could go to sleep too, and it was a while. It took him two days before he told me what happened that night. He said he was taken up to heaven to see things. I asked if he was allowed to talk about him. He said yes. The first thing he said he saw was that everything in heaven has its own light. I was putting sugar in my coffee and he used the sugar to explain. He said, Dad, did you know that sugar in heaven will glow? It's not just sugar, but everything. Everything glows. It's all alive. The angel showed me houses in heaven too. And I saw yours and mom's, Grammy's and my aunt's house. I asked him, what did my house look like? And he said it was a nice house. Then I asked him what color it was. He said that he didn't know what color it was because we didn't have that color on earth and he didn't know how to explain it. Then he got to see houses of family members on his mother's side that just accepted Jesus and how the house was starting to build. He said that it was built out of nothing. It just appeared like planks and windows. I asked him if he saw his own house, and he said that the angel had told him that God knows everything about him and that he knows his prayer. My son had prayed that he could build his own house in heaven, and it looks like he will. My son was talking about, my son was talking to the angel about God and asked him if he could talk to God. The angel told him that God's voice was too powerful for him right now, but that after his body was changed, he would be able to talk directly to him. My son then said, I saw God's house too, and it was the biggest. It was in the middle and it looked like Hercules' house. I mean, he laughed and he said, Hercules house like Disney? He said, yes, only bigger and better. He said, there's white pillars like Hercules house has. God has them also. He also said that he saw animals and birds and they were all shining and the flowers and the grass and the trees were all shining. He said, there was so much that I don't know how to say because I don't know what it is anymore. I forgot. And I asked about some things, but my son said he was not allowed to say everything. 
I was asking about personal questions and about some family members. So then he went to the web and he, to see if anybody else had had these kind of experiences. He saw that an eight-year-old boy had had a vision and he told his son about it. He, the little boy also said he, there was also a boy that said he had a vision and the little boy's name was Gabriel. My son said, cool, I think that's the angel that talked to me, Gad. His name was Gabriel. He said, I have not and will not push him for any more information. I will let it come as it comes. It'll be on his timing and on God's timing. And when the Lord allows us to release it, in Jesus' name, he stands with Jesus. He fears God. He would do nothing, nothing to separate him from God. And he prays that this blesses us in all ways. I know that there's more coming out from this that I'm sure he'll release to us. I pray that you all receive this in love. Take it to the Lord in prayer. And Debbie from Texas saying peace out. But I also so want to say Jesus is coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Holy King. And God of Israel. Hallelujah.